Good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank uh, folks for, for weighing in following the Housing Committee hearing on the D.C. Housing Authority earlier this week, where we reviewed the HUD report uh, that, that really showed a significant, complete lack of confidence from the Federal Housing Authority HUD uh, with respect to our D.C. Housing Authority. It enumerated uh, dozens of, of flaws uh, that the Federal Housing Authority sees and things that we have to fix uh, for residents. And the hearing illuminated a lot of the issues. There were a lot of questions, still some things that aren't clear after the hearing. But uh, after the hearing, the mayor proposed a, an emergency uh, bill that would reconstitute the Housing Authority Board. It would make it smaller, turn it into a board of uh, seven individuals. Um, look, I, I agree that we need to reconstitute the board. Uh, I think that the mayor's proposal uh, falls short in, in a couple critical ways. Uh, first, uh, I think we need three things on this reconstituted board, which I do think should be about seven people. Uh, we need people with specific expertise who have the know-how and the experience to go in and fix the things that are broken in the agency, the things that HUD said need to be addressed. We're talking about procurement. We're talking about public housing and general housing operations. We're talking about finance. Uh, so we need people with expertise. The second thing we need is people with clear eyes. We need people who are going in to find the problem. So people who go in to find the problems and have the expertise to fix them. That is what we need. The third thing we need are residents. Public housing residents currently are on the Housing Authority Board. There are three of them. Uh, I don't think this number should change. We cannot undervalue the expertise and lived experiences of, of people who have the biggest stake uh, in this. So this new reconstituted board is who will choose the next executive director. The current executive director will uh, leave late next year, around September. This is the board that's gonna choose the new executive director. So with the new board and the new executive director, we have to be sending a clear signal to HUD that we are serious, not just about changing things, but fixing things. This is a time where the council and the mayor have to work together. We need independence on that board, not anybody with political loyalties to, to the mayor, to council members, to anybody, but with loyalties only to the residents of public housing. We have to make this agency better. The current proposal doesn't quite get us there. Um, there. There are some limitations that the council has. Federal law, the Home Rule Act, indicates that the mayor has the majority of appointments on the Housing Authority Board. So any notion that the council can appoint all of the new members, we, we cannot. What this requires is cooperation uh, and clear focus from the mayor and the council. Uh, that's the leadership that this time is calling for. That's the leadership that housing, uh, public housing residents are, are calling for. That's what the city needs to see here. Uh, so not people uh, getting entrenched, not people trying to get their folks uh, on the board, but we need to work together to put the right people on the board who are there to fix the agency. Uh, I'm developing an amendment now that I'm going to uh, propose on Tuesday when this bill comes up, hoping to get the support of my colleagues. Again, it will include uh, specific expertise in critical areas. It will include uh, three uh, public housing residents. And, and I think it will move us where I think the mayor and the council uh, want and need us to be. Most importantly, it'll move us to where residents need us to be. Uh, so uh, I will uh, continue working on this amendment over the weekend and work with my colleagues and hopefully uh, get this passed on Tuesday.